What's up guys, War here, and today I'm gonna bring you the brand new Magic Missile Firebird set. Let's do it. Okay, so today I'm gonna bring you guys the Wizard, the Firebirds Wizard set, guys. This build has been absolutely tearing up the PTR for season 27, and it's probably gonna be the second build that I play. So the build is the Firebirds Magic Missile build, where you shoot 20 Magic Missiles. It's absolutely insane. So what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna go in, I'm gonna show you the build and how it works, inside of a greater rift and then we're going to go over the gear so let's just hop right into it we're only going to do a gr75 we have very low paragon only at 448 and then very low um gear we got a couple agents with some uh augments on it but very low gear but i want to show you how this works so when you pop in you always want to hit your magic weapon right off the bat when you hop in and then everything is going to be using disintegrate to ignite everything and then casting magic missile but for survivability you want to pop your Frost Nova and then Explosive Blast. Okay, you guys are good. For our survivability, you always want to keep your Explosive Blast up. And that's probably one thing about the build that's really tough to actually use. Because you're kind of just like flying around. Now, in the higher GRs, this is easy, like much more attainable. Because you're fighting so many mobs, you're not killing them as fast as I am and you know you're just kind of zooming about but you want to keep that up as much as possible um it can be pretty easy the extra 80 percent is is kind of nuts so you want to always have that going but as you guys can see the build is very simple to play it's very flavorful um all you're doing oop, we died right there all you're doing is setting everything on fire which is fantastic so when you get you see the little fire above his above the guy's head that means they have combust on there and then you're gonna hit them with magic missile pretty easy there's nothing really to it you see them all on fire because everything comes from them being on fire besides that the normal attack for magic missile or even disintegrate itself really doesn't do a whole lot of damage everything comes from the combustion stacks and then in turn, the more combustion stacks that we have allows us to continue to um, cast our teleport, which is great. You see how they're all on fire there? See they're all on fire, boom. Now we're not completing this one as fast as we probably could, guys. I just wanted to show you how the build actually works because we were idiots and we didn't follow the map because I was talking. You're gonna be able to cast Explosive Blast and Frost Nova almost nonstop. Those things should always be able to be cast along with your teleport. Again, guys, you're just kind of bouncing around. You're just bouncing around. The build is really, really fun. If you guys know from the past when Firebirds was kind of on top, the uh, the build just like sweeped for a couple seasons. But it's so, look, look at that. Look at all the magic missiles. It's so crazy to uh, just see it all in action because it, it's just so rewarding to see that, man. It's just like such a cool build. This is probably going to be the second build that I play, guys, from besides the Necromancer build, which that Blood Nova build is really cool, guys. I'll link that above so you guys can check that video out if you haven't seen the Necromancer uh, Blood Nova build. That that build is really cool. But So you see, you just kind of you just jet along, set everything on fire. Again, you're not worried about like being in in front of a mob at all because of your explosive blast and frost nova just like that those champions spawned i i froze them and then hit them with explosive blast set them on fire and that's it they're just dead those guys had some shield going on right there the the non-stop teleport really helps helps you kind of get around and speed farm just a little bit I, there's probably a good way to build a like a T16 speed farming build for this wizard set, which would probably kind of dominate, which is insane. Now, you guys see how the magic missiles are going? Because it automatically gives you the, am I hitting the wall? It automatically gives you the seeker rune on there, which is just awesome. Yeah, you're dead. Now, when it comes to the Rift Guardian guys, single damage on this is just, it's nuts. You're gonna set them on fire and then they're just gonna die. There's absolutely nothing to it whatsoever. You guys can see I only have a couple ancient items um, with some augments. And then, like, I'm only Paragon level 460. My gems are rank 25 and one's 28. So nothing there. We're not even going to level that one up. But let's get back to town so I can show you guys the build. 
and all the gear that you're going to need. We're going to do this really, really quick. So everything you need for the build is pretty simple, guys. You need the six piece fires were set. You guys know how this works. You're going to disintegrate everything that ignites them and then hit everybody with magic missile. That's the entire build. You need all six pieces for this to work. Next, we're going with the Captain Crimson's two piece set. You know, that way you get all three with the Ring of Royal Grandeur because we want the uh, increased resource reduction and cooldown reduction. Keep all our skills up always, especially Frost Nova and Explosive Blast. Next, we got the two piece all dual set because we want increased damage against elites and then uh, damage reduction against elites. This is great. We're going to try to zoom around and kill as many elites as possible. Um, next is our weapon, the Fragment of Destiny. This is almost a must need. We decided to use the seasonal theme, the Angelic Crucible, which makes it a Primal Ancient on the weapon for perfect stats. If you're not going to put it on the weapon, if you change this build up, you definitely want it on the orb or you want it on the Firebird's Eye for just maximum stats and damage. Um, this with the, the Magic Missile ability, so that way we can fire all 20 Magic Missiles. So next is our rings and our amulets, guys. I opted in for focus restraint. I see a lot of people running the uh, Traveler's Pledge set. That's also really good, but I like the focus and restraint for the increased damage. Squirt's Necklace, again, guys, double damage is just great. Now our legendary gems, we went Bane of the Stricken, stricken so each attack we make with the 20 magic missiles is gonna do increased damage. Bane of the Trap, pretty simple, guys, especially at the higher GRs, you're gonna be doing so much more damage. And then Zaya's Stone of Vengeance, so that way, as we're moving around and shooting things far away, we deal even more damage. That is the gear, guys. Now, in the cube, you definitely want the Orb of Infinite Depth. This is going to give you 80% more uh, damage reduction and increased damage. That's why we always want to keep it, uh, Explosive Blast popping. Uh, the Shame of Dezir, Delzir. Signature spells attack even more faster and restore Ancient Power or Arcane Power by 12 Arcane power should never be low, guys. You're shooting 20 magic missiles, and it restores it super, super quick. Ring of Royal Grandeur to do all of our sets. Uh, our skills, pretty simple. Magic missile, disintegrate to help proc the um, the six-piece set. Teleport to get around. Uh, Frost Nova and Explosive Blast for defense, guys, especially in the middle of the mobs. And then Magic Weapon for more defense. Uh, the passives, Audacity to deal more damage to enemies within 15 yards because everything's so congested. Evocation, cooldowns by 20%. We want all our skills up all the time. Elemental exposure because we're doing so many different elements with Magic Weapon, Frost Nova. We're just fire. We're casting all different kinds of elements, so we get increased damage for that. And then Unwavering Will. Those moments where you do have to stand still when you're bouncing around, you get increased armor, we're all resist, and then damage which is great. So this is the build. There's a couple different ways I've seen people build it, but this is kind of the general way that I like it. I feel it's really good for damage, really good for just mobility. The only thing that I feel like it's lacking is just survivability. It's just really, really squishy in some cases, but you know, I got to get used to playing the build a little bit more, but otherwise this build is fantastic guys. I'm really excited to play this on top of the Necromancer next season. So if you guys are wizard mains out there, enjoy the 20 magic missiles. It's fantastic. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like, guys. I really do appreciate it. I don't know how many more PTR videos we're going to be posting, but um, we're going to try to get some more out there. We've been just like blasting the content. So appreciate everybody watching. Thank you guys so much for the support. Thank you guys for watching today. If you are new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe down below, guys. Uh, comment and let me know what you guys think of the Firebird set down in the comments. I really want to hear what you guys are thinking about it. Um, and thank you guys again for watching. As always, stay gaming, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.